皆さんこんにちは手塚まみです東京シュミットぜひ聞いてくださいこんにちは Hello everybody once again this is Schmitty and it's a podcast called Talking Schmidt which is you know mostly skateboarding but we dive into music and life and all kinds of things from time to time but primarily We are skaters, so we will be talking about skateboarding today on the show. The one, the only Mami Tezuka from Japan. This is our first Japanese guest, so please, please be courteous, be kind, be respectful, and stay focused. Stay focused because you're gonna hear some stories about this girl from Japan that has. Worn vans her whole life and skateboarded since she was very young because her parents were skateboarders. She's now part of the Blood Wizard team. Stop it now. It's just not fair. She was very close to even making the Olympics. She's been in the contest circuit ripping. She came out and skated Bob's with me and Lizzie Armanto、mm, two years ago. And I got to see her stylish Smith grinds on the、uh, Petrero vert wall. Pull coping, no problem.、Uh, we're even doing a giveaway today, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, support for Talking Schmidt is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, kids. It's the 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. We're going to give you 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code. At manscaped.com. Just type in the code shout out and the rest is smooth sailing. Imagine shaving with a sleek, well designed, and optimized trimmer that makes shaving time your favorite time in the bathroom. I'll tell you this I'm one of the first people to try the new 4.0, and I'm blown away by the performance. The craftsmanship and details on the 4.0 are next level. The fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. That's right, kids. Advanced skin safe technology. Now you can feel confident shaving those family jewels. Did I mention wireless charging? Men, if you've been shaving with the same nut trimmer on your face, you've been doing it wrong. No person wants to end up with pubes in their mouth. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code shout out, shout out. at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code shout out. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Shout out. I just want to say shout out to all you shops that are supporting me. I swear I say it all the time and I, I put the stickers on the wall. And if you're not on there, please send it to me. But I do fucking love you guys. And I do feel so much love, respect, and honored every time you know, we connect. And some of you guys are putting my soft goods out and selling them in your shops. And that means the world to me too. So. I'm coming for you, NJ. I'm coming for you. I've been talking to your people. My people have been talking to your people. I know a guy named this guy, and, and he's, he knows a guy. So, heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I just want to say I have been learning a lot about how my fiance deals with pain, and it is impressive, kids. Breaking your arm in 12 pieces, getting a metal plate, surgery, all that. Oh, mama. It doesn't let you sleep. Let's just leave it at that, okay? You don't get a lot of sleep, which means the good people who bring me the brown stuff. Big love to y'all. Phil's Coffee, I am coming for you. Coffee drinker, huh? I want to advertise. I want you to advertise. I want us to exchange love. I get a coffee at your spot every morning. Coffee. What? Somebody said something about coffee. 
I don't know. Maybe you can uh, do some advertisement on the show and uh, I can get a free cup of coffee, something like that. Let's let's see how that works. huh? I always listen to volume four. The Nuge is on his way, apparently. <laughs> the Nuge is coming. Also, I, I'm going to let this out of the bag. The cat is now out of the bag. I just fucking interviewed Fred Gall. That's partly why I got the NJ shirt on. Freddie Gall is coming to Talking Schmidt. It's in the bag. It's done. It's a wrap. <laughs> Pretty stoked, kids. Biggest little on the dome. NJ on my chest. Talking Schmidt out west. We got a good show for you today, kids. It's Mammy Tezuka. And here she is. Mammy. Yep. Hello. How are you? Are you there? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, awesome. Whoa. What's happening? This is Mami Tezuka. You're listening to Talking Shmini. It's cool, like tonight is the night. Here we go again. Just give it the old cars turn, isn't it? All big dogs in. 96 times, Schmitty. Thanks, Schmitty. We on? Schmitty? Talking Schmidt. That's called going to the hospital, bitch. I can <laughs> shit my pants, man. Your Rolodex is fucking deep. It's right. about the one. The one. The one. Who is this guy? Thinks he's tough shit. What's up? We're tastemakers. Come on, Schmitty. What the fuck? I'm here for Greg Smith. Konnichiwa, buenos dias, and hello from San Francisco, California. This is Schmitty, and today we have what Chris Gregson says is one of the best female pool skaters out there. <laughs> this is the one and only Mami Tezuka. Hi. Hello. Thank you for <laughs> joining. Thank you for having me. Hell yeah. It's been a uh, I met you with Lizzie when you were in uh, San Francisco. Yeah, it's been that, a while. That was like two years ago, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Okay. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing good. My uh, fiance just broke her uh, arm and yeah. shattered the bone. So they had to put a plate in it and Fuck. they numb. They did a blocker, a numb blocker. So no pain. But but the blocker wore off like real quick. So now she's she's in there in pain. So trying Crazy. to get through this. But yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Have you ever broken a bone? Yeah, once my knee bone. Oh, yeah, that was the worst injury. <laughs> yeah, I, I broke my ribs and it was so harsh because like every time you laugh, it like hurts. Mm -hmm. So you oh. just can't even like sneeze or laugh or anything. No. Yeah, it's so bad. It's so bad. Um, let's talk about where you were born and raised in Japan, right? Yeah. I born in Shiga, like near from Kyoto. And I raised Shiga too. Your English is like a lot better since when I met you. Did uh what have you been doing? How have you been learning English so quickly? I don't know. I don't really try to study English, but I stay here for like three months now. And yeah, staying in Lizzie's house. Oh. Like I have to talk English a lot. So <laughs> yeah. And just picking up by listening to your surroundings and yeah. Do you can you understand more than you can speak or is it about Yes, I understand more than speak okay like yeah it's hard to like put the sentence in english yeah as long as you can get the main words out that you're trying to like bathroom <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um if i was going to japan i've never been there and i really want to go but if yeah. i if i was going I know Konnichiwa, Arigato, Kampai, and mm -hmm. I think Ichiban is like the best, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what other words are like real important that I should know? Oh, you should know. What's Yabai. bathroom? Yabai. Bathroom. <laughs> is that it? That's important. 
Yeah. It's like same toy day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And skateboard you, is what? Skateboardo or something like that? Skateboardo. Skateboardo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you're learning. <laughs> I got so many uh, friends in Japan and uh, oh. and every all my friends from America that have ever gone there. Uh-huh. It's like one of their favorite places they've gone in the world. They always say the people are so nice. It's beautiful, mm-hmm. clean, respectful, delicious food, like yeah. so many good things. I know. Have, police, have you, but have you been to that skate park? Uh, that's like the old one. Uh, what's it called? Mikasa. I've never been there, but I I really want to. Yeah, it like, looks pretty cool. Like, yeah, I want to film there. Mm. That would be so sick. How did you get into skateboarding? Oh, so my dad skated like when he was young. Oh. And then I started with my mom. Your mom skates too? Yes. No so way. my whole family. <laughs> oh my God. So you just like, did you have a skateboard like at a real early age? Yeah. Like I started five or six. Nice. And how old are you now? I'm 19 now. 19. So like 14 years of skateboarding. Yeah, <laughs> so long. Do you know much of the history of skateboarding? Like, do you do you know if somebody asks you, like, who's one of the best skaters of all time in Japan? Like, who are the legends? Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Like only the, my local around my local. There's mm-hmm. a lot of skaters and um, like 50, 45 year old. Is there like somebody that was like the first Japanese pro or something like that? That's like the Tony Hawk of Japan or the Tony Alva of Japan or something like that. Um, Maybe Wataru. Wataru? You know what, who is that? Wataru? He's a friend of mine. He used to skate with uh, Think Skateboards in the 90s. Whoa, so sick. Yeah. And I then know him. Maru, do you know Maru? Maru, yeah. Maru. He's, he's one of the best skaters in Japan. Well, just, I think it was today, is uh, there's a guy named Yuto that just put out mm. a part. Woo! I saw that. <laughs> it's, it's insane. So crazy. Yeah. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> who are the people that like uh, you get stoked on? Like, who are some of your favorite skaters? My favorite skater is a lot. <laughs> but yeah. I like Dan Joy Hobble. That's fucking cancer. Fucking Dan. <laughs> oh, that's my bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then Ground Taylor. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Peter Hewitt. Ah. Mm-hmm. All right. So we got similar taste here in skaters. Okay. Raven Tershi, Rainy yes. Harris, those kind of guys, huh? Mm-hmm. What about uh, Alicia Lee? L- Lizzie Alicia. Armato. Lizzie, yeah, those two. Yeah, uh-huh. I really love her skating. Yeah, it's so yeah. it's so good. True or false, you've been wearing van shoes since kindergarten. True. <laughs> <laughs> How cool. Yeah, I know. So your parents got you into skateboarding, they got you a skateboard, they got you you got you van shoes and mm-hmm. what were some of your earliest memories? Like uh are there skate parks near where you grew up or do you just roll around in the street or like what kind of what kind of things were in the early stages? Yeah, I was skating at, I think, parking lot first uh-huh. with my dad. Like, I just push and then sit down. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to only, but I never could. <laughs> and then when did you, like, how did you start progressing? Like, what what was the the... What age were you when you started to like get a little more competitive and and start to really get better at skating? Mm. You start getting a sponsor and all that stuff. Actually, my real sponsor is Vans. Vans. Yeah. So 
That was your first one? Yeah, like real first oh, one. <laughs> that's yeah, a good one. I think when I was 11, 12, like I was starting to compete Japan's competition. Like for the, it's like not serious, but like having fun. Like amateur, uh huh. Yeah. So vans would uh, do contests in Japan, or would you travel? I travel. Ah, oh, what was your first trip out of Japan? Where was the first place you went? Um, California. Oh, mama! That was the first one. Yes, that was the first one. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, exposure is a first international contest for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just interviewed Amelia last week, actually. Mm -hmm. That was your first time to kind of meet some of these people that like maybe you'd seen in magazines or something like I know them, but I don't I never met them yet. And now you're skating with them in exposure. Yeah. Yeah, dog. What was that like? What was it like you your English probably wasn't that good at that time, right? Can we give me one sec? Sure, of Sorry. course. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no problem. Yeah. So what was that, Christian? Uh, like your English probably was not so good when your first time to California or uh -huh. was it hard no, to really what, was like it good. hard to like meet the you know, oh there's Lizzie, but I don't know how to talk to her. Or yeah. Like, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> I just translate on Google and can I take picture with you? <laughs> <laughs> that rules yeah uh, th thank god for modern technology i know oh. i'm so glad wow. uh what was some of what was like the highlight of coming to california like out, out of the whole trip what was like when you went back i can't believe like something yeah so when i came here i didn't know there is contest like exposure Mm -hmm. and i wanted there's a lot of girls skating and i wanted to compete so i compete exposure and i met like lizzie alicia nola like and i skated with them for once like that was craziest moment <laughs> for me yeah do you like put your board down and look over and see somebody else and and like you get nervous or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nervous. Everyone's so good. So my local park is really small. And I was so scared that big. Oh, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> it was bigger than you were used to, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, was there like some food or 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 drinks or something that like you came here and never had before in Japan? In and out burger and French fries with animal style. <laughs> <laughs> well, I fell in love. <laughs> yeah. That's so that's good. the one for everyone. Like yeah. I so many friends, they get off the plane and they're like straight to in and out. Yes. <laughs> wow. How did you develop your Smith grind? You have a unique style with your Smith grind with your foot and, and everything. Like, how did that come? How did you start doing that? Um my local skate friend told me, like, I think so my Uncle is really flexible. So my friend told me, like, I think you can do back hood, like this back hood. How do I say? Yeah, tweak it. Yeah, tweak. And then I tried once and I could do that easily. <laughs> and I tried to grind longer and longer. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, they're so cool. I remember we went to Bob's and Petrero and I got some photos and video of you doing it. And it was like every time you got <laughs> like that. It's so style. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. What's uh what's one of the harder tricks that you've l- have you ever tried to do a 540? Mm, actually no. No. What's it's, one of the ones that good. you learned that was like the hardest for you that you've got so far? So, mm, front side kick flip. Front side kick flip? Uh-huh. Oh, nice. I'm on, I'm trying to do that, but cuz Chris Gregson is the He's master. the master. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I got to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're yeah. filming a part for uh, like uh, Thrasher right now with him, right? Yes. How's that going? The next issue, I think. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You're going to have a head, yeah? Yes. Who's shooting the photos? Tim. Tim Agler. Oh, cool. How's it yeah. been going? You've been getting some stuff? Uh, yes. We went to a lot of pools, mm. a backyard. Yeah. When you go skating in California, who's your crew? Do you have a regular, like, are you skating with certain people all the time or does it change? Yeah, I skate Lizzie or Alicia a lot. Mm. And then Poppy's staying here night. So, yeah, I hung out with Poppy, Bryce. Nice. Like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just saw Poppy has a documentary. I just they sent me yeah. a, a copy yesterday. I, I I watched the first half. I'm gonna watch the second half today. It's like almost two hours or something. Wow. Yeah. That's long. Like since she was a a little like little kid, shows her growing up, going to vans, wow. uh, winning the combi, like all this uh-huh. stuff. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. I mean, I've kind of seen some of these girls like when they were little, like Sky Brown, when I first saw her, she could just do rock and rolls and rock and roll fakies. Like she was yeah. a little girl. Now, like I've seen like, whoa, you know, know, like the progression's <laughs> been amazing. Uh, talk a little bit about like the contests. Um this last year and the contests were for to qualify for the Olympics, right? Yep. And what was, what was that like compared to regular contests? Was there way more stress and pressure or was it the same or like, how did you feel about those? Uh, it is way more pleasure and stress for yeah. me. Yeah. I feel like it's disorganized actually, but I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of skater from every country. So it's cool to meet them. Since it's for the Olympics, are there skaters that are normally not in contests that are coming from all over the world? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then how does Japan's got like so many good girls <laughs> like Kakona, uh Sakura? Yeah. Uh is Kisa still skating? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Kiso was the first one for me. I think so. That I saw from Japan. I was like, wow, she was doing frontside 360s on vert. Yeah. And uh, just ripping and always like not too much English, just smiling, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but then, then Alicia and Lizzie, because I'm friends with them, they, yeah. they, they were like, you got to see this girl, Kakona. She mm. was doing nose grinds around the corner at the combi every time. It's like, yeah. whoa, like so <laughs> the competition is really heavy for Japan. It is heavy. Like oh. we got only three spot for Olympics, but there's six girls are really good uh-huh. and we're competitive. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you guys talk to each other? Are you friends or is it like once you're skating, <laughs> it's like I'm in the zone? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we are friends. I think I'm friends with everyone, but I don't know <laughs> what they're thinking. OK. Yeah. Um, I saw I think it was the do tour. You took a pretty hard slam. I Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag, are you okay? <laughs> I mean, my elbows are like rainbow. 
Really? You got the yeah. swell, the swell bow? Like here. Uh -huh. um, that was heavy. Like it's kind of worst slum ever. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy because I saw, I think it was on Instagram there. I think probably Gregson was filming and, yeah. you, and you see the, the, you go up and then you slam mm -hmm. and then you just hear like on the camera, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was like that one of those ones. <laughs> You're sponsored by Blood Wizard, right? They give yes, you boards? Yeah. Head on over to your local shop and ask for Blood Wizard. If they're out, then you can tickety tack on down to bloodwizard.com where you have all of your conjuring needs. How how did that happen? I think me and me and Mike Mike Menzoe were filming. Okay. And one day Gregson and our crew were filming each other. And then I think I talked to him for the first time or that day and then he really liked my style of skating. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So he kind of like put it out there? I, yeah, yeah. And you were already sponsored by somebody else, right? Yes. How, uh, did you have to tell them you were changing? Um. Actually, I was thinking about, um, I don't know how to say, <laughs> um, quitting, quitting. Yeah. Okay. And then I already told them I, that I'm going to quit at March. Oh, uh, okay. So that was the good timing. Who was that? Were they in Japan? Yeah. Japan's board company. What was it called? Sunny. Sunny. Sunny skateboard. Yeah. Ah, okay. I deal mm -hmm. with, uh, do you know Kenji at Underdog Distribution? Yes, Kenji. I'm fine. Shout out. Yeah, he's the homie. He he actually buys some of my stuff and sells it to shops over there. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so good. Like to see like someone in Japan with my shirt. I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, slow it down. That's so cool. Yeah, it's been really cool. Well, I talked to Toad, who runs the Blood Wizard, and he yeah. said, I think that that's Schmidting. We can give away a skateboard. <laughs> wow. So we are going to give away a Blood Wizard skateboard with a Blood Wizard shirt and grip tape. Sick. How do you think we should do it? How? Yeah, I was thinking maybe we can have a Smith Grind contest where That's, the listener yeah. can take a photo or video of them doing a Smith grind, uh -huh. send it in, and then I'll show you the best ones and you pick the winner. That'll be so good. Yes. Okay. I'm really so, down. Okay. People, you hear this? You got to get out there and do a Smith grind. It can be on a ledge, a curb, transition, whatever you want, but Smith grind. You better give it style and you better do it with authority because we got a really good Smith grinder as our judge and she's going to pick the winner. And then I'll send you out this board from blood wizard with grip tape and a t-shirt. And maybe I'll throw in some uh, talking Schmidt swag as well. <laughs> Not bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So All right. Well, let's talk about this girl, Lizzie Armano. She's a friend of the show and she's one of the best in the biz. Um, and, and mm -hmm. she's a good friend of yours and she's kind of shown you around, brought you up to San Francisco and stuff. What is, what have you learned from her? Her personality is so nice. And like, she's, she's like American sister for me. Mm. Uh -huh, she's, Really kindness and she loves Japan Japan. Yeah. Yeah. That has is she, so cool. Has she been to Japan to visit you? Um not my like not Suga, but I met her at Tokyo. Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where's some of the best like if Lizzie was going to go to Japan, right? Where does she, where would you be like, we got to go here? Where's the best place to skate? Where do you need to eat? Like, um, 
I think my house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is it close to Kyoto or Osaka? Uh huh. It's close to like Kyoto, Osaka. Like, oh, we can show her a lot of shrine, temple. Ah.、Uh-huh. Yeah. Where would you go to skate? Skate my home park, and there's a some DIY stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Same. So yeah, I love to go there. Okay. Do you like boba tea? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm trying to not drink it. Oh really? Why? <laughs> You're obsessed. Like it's too much. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about sushi? Sushi, I love sushi. You love sushi. What's、yeah. your What's your favorite?、Uh, your favorite fish? Your sashimi, or or what do you go with? My favorite sushi, I think salmon. Salmon. Hmm. I like the hamachi. Hamachi. I love yeah, hamachi. Yeah. It's like butter. You so I know. good. Ah,、uh, it's so good too. Sushi. I. That's one of my. Like, I mean, there's a lot of reasons I want to go to Japan, but I can't wait to go to like eat sushi and like、mm-hmm. just see everything. What was I gonna say? So true or false? You are obsessed. It's like your number one、uh, wish is to meet the Tiger King. <laughs> oh, chills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tiger King, Joe Exotic, right? <laughs> yeah, you lo- you love the Tiger King. I love. Hey, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I I watched it and Lizzie's house when I was staying there. The other thing I heard about is that you、um, are really good at playing piano. Yeah, I have two eighth grade diplomas. Yeah, how long、I've、you been, been doing、yeah. that? Um,、uh, I think longer than skateboarding. Oh, mama! Can you play? What do you like to play? Like classical or like more modern? Yeah,、or? I I usually play classical, but I really want to play the jazz. Oh, that's so difficult. Do you do any on the computer, like recordings, or are you only like on a a real、uh, piano, or like how do you do it? I only play. Like, I'm the... not. Yeah, I don't real. I don't do record or. Okay. Yeah. You've never. Have you ever recorded yourself playing?、Mm, yeah, never. No. No. You gotta record <laughs> a little jingle. We'll make a little jingle for the for the podcast. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I it's funny. Yeah. If you play the cantina from Star Wars, Lizzie's mind will be blown. Kick, turn, grab, and jump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be so good. What else? Do you have a、um, favorite? Thing that you something that you saw someone do on a skateboard that you were there for, like the best thing you ever saw on a skateboard that you were there live in person, not on video or photo. You were there to see, like, oh, <laughs> maybe I will say Ronnie Sample invert, frontside invert to like yes,、yeah. plant like. Bronze invert. Ronnie's the best in the biz with those. He does、I、them like、know. Mark Gonzalez. It's so good. I really want to do bronze invert, but no, so y- scary. You, you can do inverts. Can you do eggplant? No. No.、And、Only invert. Oh, just invert. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, be good. Get the frontside invert for. So you get Ronnie to come out with you for a week. He teaches you frontside inverts, and then you get it in your video part. Look at there! I could join the circus too. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. <laughs>、yeah. Ronnie was always telling me he's like, "Hey, come skate the vert with me, and I'll teach you these tricks." And I was like, "Dude, I'm not gonna learn those tricks." Like he's like, "No, I can teach them to you. I can teach them to you." I was like. I don't think I can learn. 
Uh, what else are you doing while you're here besides skateboarding? Um, I really, I'm doing, um, cook. Cook? Yeah, cook a lot. Make a lot of food? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're in San Clemente? Yes. Do you surf? No. 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 It's a good surf town like right there. Oh, you don't like it? <laughs> I cannot swim. Oh, you cannot swim? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> and, and you don't want to learn? I don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Never. I, I really want to go there. But what happens like if you go to somewhere nice that has a really beautiful ocean, you don't go in the water? Um, I will go to but, your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure it's not deep. Yeah, you got to learn. Just put on the uh, the little floaters. Like lifesaver. Yeah, the little yeah. lifesaver floats. <laughs> <laughs> you're like in the ocean with the little yeah. kids <laughs> who's your pick to win the olympics who's gonna win the olympics park yeah men's yeah let's go through all of it park men who's gonna win park men i bet pedro pedro barros yeah i got my money on pedro barros oh okay. even though i'm american uh, but, yeah. you, but you know who I want to win? Uh -huh. Corey, yeah. Corey Juno. I need Corey yeah. Juno on the cover of Wheaties. That's my dream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win the, the women park? That's hard. Um, I don't know. Maybe Misugu. Misugu. Uh, okay. Who's the Japanese girl? I haven't seen her yet. Oh, really? I don't think so. Maybe. Was she at the combi? I don't think so. No, no. It's, it's been like two years since I've been around anybody okay. skateboarding. So, yeah, I feel yeah. like, God, I can't wait for everything to get a little more normal. Uh huh. Yeah, I think that park in Tokyo is really big. So it's uh, kind of good for Lizzie. OK. Yeah. It's going to be no spectators, right? No. Okay. So crazy. But you're going to go? No, I missed it. But you can't go to watch? I don't think so. I, oh. I don't have a ticket. And... Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, what about the street? Street women's, I think hourly. Yeah? Yeah. I'm really chilling her. Okay. <laughs> and then for the men's street? Men's Utah. <laughs> it's gonna be Japanese winning in Japan. Yeah. Is is the country like excited or how how is Japan feeling about having the Olympics there? Especially it must be weird because they must be so excited to have the Olympics and then no spectators. Like, what's the feeling like for the people that live there? Um I think they're excited, but the COVID is getting worse in Tokyo now. I don't, I have no idea. Yeah. How long are you here for? I'm here for three months. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. What's up with uh, Mexico? You just went to Mexico, right? Yeah. To reset my visa. Uh-huh. <laughs> how, how is that? It's a different that down there, right? That was so hot. Hot. And it was like raining every day, stormy. So, oh, uh, couldn't no, skate. I skated outward. Oh, indoors, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Where so, did you go? What city? Uh, Cancun. Oh, Cancun. Mm hmm. Oh, so there's beaches there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put your feet in the water or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Sell it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, did you like the food and stuff there? Yeah, I really like tacos. Tacos. Mm, <laughs> that was so nice. <laughs> okay. You eat meat? Yes. Okay. Do you know anybody on the Blood Wizard team? You know Kowalski and Gregson or who are the Tristan maybe? Yeah, Tristan. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, we skated the pool together. He's really good in the pool. Uh, huh? Like he makes me, I suck at skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't know. Chris told me that you've been doing a lot of cool things. That he's really stoked on how you're putting together this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that that trick you and I filmed at Petro is gonna go in the part, or is it too old? I think yes. Okay, good. That, that was it. That, that was really good one. Yeah, that was yeah. a super good day. Yes. So fun. Well, what else is there? Anything else we should mention? You want to say hi to mom and dad, Japan? We did it. Yeah. Uh, what, what? What? Anybody that you want to give a shout out to or say thank you? Oh, Kenji San, my mom, dad, Konnichiwa. Yes. Oh, I was gonna ask you about um because I'm a big baseball fan. Do you like baseball at all? Yes, I like. Okay, so what's up with Japan and baseball? Who's the team out there? Tokyo Giants or is there? Oh, you Chunichi Dragons. Okay, you're a fan. Yeah, I'm a fan. My okay. dad too. We had on San Francisco Giants. We had okay. Shinjo. 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 Yes. Yeah. Shinjo. He was like a model with like nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's crazy. He's the prettiest person. Yeah, and now yeah. we got uh, on the Angels. Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani. Yes. He's like the insane like he pitcher is. and hitter. The whole deal. Yeah, I know. That's you, a lot. Will you go to any games when you're in in California or no? Yeah, I, I hope so. I'm going to go one day. You got to go to Anaheim. Yes. See Sinjo uh, Otani. Otani? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. I would love to. What's it like going to a game in Japan? Is it like, is the people, like, is that the number one sport in Japan? Baseball? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah one of the one of the favorite best pop like I mean like popular. Uh huh. So do people like do the stadiums get filled and people are going yeah. crazy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that too. When I go there, I gotta find out when baseball season is and go and find the weather and find mm -hmm. like the good spots to eat and oh okay yeah hit up some friends and. Mm -hmm. Japan, it's on my list. Yeah, Anytime. watching baseball is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I'm going tonight, actually, to. Oh, we, what? We live two blocks from the stadium. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm so jealous. Well, if you come up, I could take you to a game. Are you guys ever going to come to San Francisco again? I don't know yet. Maybe okay. next time. Yeah, I let me know because we got lots yeah. of good things to skate. Like if I know you're coming, we got vert ramps, we got backyard bowls, we got, you know, the skate parks and there's DIY stuff. So, yeah, yeah, we should. Lots of things to skate. Weather's good right now. And okay. uh, yeah, we got a winning baseball team. So mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Little trip. Oh, one last thing, too. Who's the guy? I think his name's. Kanzu snowboarder Lizzie has the hat with the name Kazu. Kazu. What's yeah? Up? <laughs> what's up with Kazu? I don't know what she's doing. I think he's having fun with like, a lot of dogs and with his family. Uh huh. He's like real good snowboarder. He is. He's okay. really good. My dad loves him. Oh really? <laughs> yes. When I was filming Lizzie's uh, part for Thrasher. Uh -huh. She would wear the hat with it on there. And I was like, what is that? Uh -huh. So we always had the joke. I would if she wore it, I would zoom in on just the casual. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I should do that, too. I don't know. I think <laughs> maybe she met him or something in Japan. I don't know. OK. Yeah. Well, say hi to everybody. OK. And I hope to see you soon. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, if you guys come up this way, let me know. And if I go down that way, I'll I'll grab you and I'll take you to Drahobos and we can skate his ramp. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. yeah. And I got to skate Lizzie's. Is her ramp fun? Yes, it is fun. OK, like yeah, she it looks got fun. Concrete coating. Oh, really? Yeah, and really good. Oh, man. Yeah. OK, we always end the show with a song. 
Mm-hmm. So you can pick like whatever song you want to play and then we can put it on for the final for the end. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that. I don't think you want to look through your mm-hmm. playlist or whatever. Well, that's good. Maybe Surrender. Surrender by Cheap Trick. Yeah. That was the first song that I did karaoke. What? <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for taking the time for the podcast. Yeah, thank you. It's my pleasure. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Mama's all right. Dad <laughs> is all right. <laughs> They just seem a little <laughs> weird. You're so good. Thank you for listening to another episode of Talking Schmidt. You can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Anchor, Spotify, or anywhere you get your podcasts. When you subscribe, you'll get notifications every Tuesday of new episodes the minute they become available. Also, please leave reviews and a five star rating. It's the best way to help the show grow. All of the episodes will always remain free, but if you would like to help support the show, you can do so at talkingschmidt.com. Where you can pick up some merchandise like t shirts, beanies, hats, and stickers. The website has an entire archive of all of the episodes with extra photos and videos. Email us with any suggestions, comments, or ways that the show may have improved your life at talkingschmidt at gmail.com. All interviews are conducted, edited, and produced by Schmitty. The intro music is Mary's Cross by the band Nature. Very special shout out goes to the executive director. Cheryl Camisa. Shout out. Love it! This is Talking Schmidt, where the Rolodex is deep, but the conversation.